Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World Australia in Jurassic World Evolution. And boy do I have a laundry list of dinosaurs to get to for this, for this episode, for this exhibit, this huge, huge, huge Outback exhibit. I think it's going to be like a three or even four parter at this point because this is all I managed to do in the last episode but it looks pretty nice i think um so what we're gonna do let me let me actually get my shopping list of dinosaurs uh so for the large species that we're gonna chuck in here uh i got two suggestions that were like recurring uh you're gonna hear a rabbit in the background that is, that's just the way the world works at this point <laughs> Uh, so the suggestions were either Giga or Allosaurus. Um, I'm having like a moral dilemma over here. I think we're going to go with Allosaurus and we're going to leave the Giga for something else. Something huge, something wonderful, something amazing. It will astound us all. I hope I'm setting up. Uh, I'm setting myself up at this point. So let's go for the Allosaurus. I don't remember if I have a mod installed for this. Uh, let me check. Actually, let me check over here before I like dump an Allosaurus into an exhibit that I didn't really plan on doing. So let's just see if, if this is actually the base skin or if I have. Uh, because I remember getting a skin mod for that one. So that's going to go in here. So my aim is to do this little bit of the exhibit and the Carnotaurus exhibit. And the next episode is going to be like decorating the Outback. But I do want to get started on the dinosaurs. Because like I said, there are a lot of dinosaurs that we have to make. Like a lot. Alright, so let's check on this aloe. What do you look like in the shadow? Ah, yes, I do have a uh, mod install, but it's a pretty cool mod. I think it's based on like a, a toy line. Uh, if I can, uh, I'm sure I'll find it and I'll put it in the description box along with the other like key mods that I'm using. I'm using so many mods for this park that I, I can't list them all in the description box. But you know, the key things that we're playing around within an episode. Let's do three. Let's do a threesome. Because, uh, you know, they're kinky. By the way, if you weren't here for the previous episode, why weren't you? But, you know, what we did is, uh, like, optically, it looks like it's all one big exhibit. But we sort of separated the big carnivores from the tour that's going through with, uh, with invisible fences. So, you know, we made, like, these little cliffs that, realistically, they wouldn't be able to go uh, up. And uh, yeah, that way it just looks really natural. It looks like people are really going into the wilderness. We have this highway going through and you know, that takes people to the next section of the park. We're sort of pretending like it's a hop on hop off point. And what I did at the start of it was like, I put these like two ranger stations together, which I love by the way, that's part of the mixed arrows mod by Kaodenic. Uh So yeah, it just sort of looks like people can, uh, board a vehicle over here and that's going to take them to as it says on the uh, on the sign right here to the aviary because that's what we're going to put over there and i thought this was kind of cool what i did with the shelters i like using shelters as like ticket stations but you know what happens over here if people want to go to the aviary take like the jeeps as opposed to the regular tour they can also go with the regular tour but if they want to take like the private jeeps uh, they go in here, they go through this building, and let's just pretend they go out on this side, you know, and they hop onto the jeep, and uh, their personal driver takes them over there. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, by the way, if you're uh, if you're new to the channel or if you're new to the series, there are new episodes every Tuesday, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out on uh, Jurassic World Australia or. Who knows? I don't think we can squeeze in another building series before Jurassic World Evolution 2 drops, but I'll try to keep in the tradition of uh, building stuff on, on Tuesdays and we'll just continue it with uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 once that comes out. It's a, it's a pretty creepy mod, but that works quite well, you know, because we have like the shadowy spooky bit going on. I'm curious to know what tomorrow's species field guide is going to be though. That's gonna be fun. Uh, let me give them food and then I can just focus on, uh, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna raise up more of their, uh, terrain. So it's gonna be more like add level with the tours. Yeah, I like that. So it's gonna be more like they're separated from the tour with like a, like a ravine. 
You know what's really interesting? Like, I know that water is faster. I'm just too lazy to switch. That is genuinely what's going on right now. I'm just too lazy to switch over to the other one. Uh, and I want to smooth this out so, you know, it doesn't look too weird with them going up and down this edge. Because obviously they're not supposed to be able to. There. Yeah, yeah. See? that That's something I don't want to see happen, boys. You better knock that off. Oh, someone pointed out... Um, in the uh, comment section. By the way, all of these dinosaur suggestions, they are coming from the comment section. So, you know, keep suggesting dinosaurs for this exhibit, for future exhibits. You know, which dinosaurs do you want to see in Jurassic World Australia? Uh, but what uh, was also pointed out is we have a tree mod. We have a tree mod. And it has eucalyptus trees. And I totally forgot about that. And we can use that. These? No. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, see, there you go, I did identify them correctly. Yay me! So yeah, we can uh, we can pop in some eucalyptus trees. I think that's gonna be cool. Like the outback, it's uh, or uh, this area in general, I want to keep pretty open. But at the edges, oh Jesus, we can um, we can have more more foliage, taller foliage. There you go, there you go. I also feel like if you add a little bit of sand, the uh, the foliage looks a little bit better because on the dirt itself. Hold on. Is this working? Are you working? Yeah, there you go. It's really... Wow. Here, you get like this super orangey look to it. It's not as bad when there's, uh, when there's some sand underneath. So we're just gonna fill this with foliage. I do want to go for like, you know, the stereotypical look. So I do apologize for that, but... You know, we, we have to set it apart from the millions of jungle parks we've built at this point. Uh, we can do like a little oasis over here with palm trees. That was also a suggestion. I don't want to keep like the trees in the sunlight. So, uh, you know, let's do... Let's do like some of that. Let's grab some of the other sizes. Brave little soldier out there on his own. Let's grab the smallest one. Teeny tiny eucalyptus tree. There, see a little bit more lively. We can uh, actually, in preparation, also chuck a couple in there. A little, little eucalyptus forest. I'll mark the small one. My allosaurus are complaining. Why are you complaining? Do you have food? You do not have food. Well, then you have every right to complain. Good for you. You you should let your voice be heard. Here, let's put the food over here. Is that gonna work with the terrain I just did? Let's put the food there then. Come on, them boys. Dinner is served. Girls, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, she a freak. Any excuse to drop those. No, I know what my favorite plant is. Where are you? Where are you, my love? My one true love. Uh, nope. 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 I will find you. And I will kill you. No. I love these. There. There's no such thing as too many of these. No. I refuse to believe that. You cannot convince me. Otherwise, cute. A couple of palms. Not the lipstick ones. I like this one. I like the leaning palm. Which one leans more? This one lean? Here, I love a good lean. There, you lean towards the Lord. Ah, and now. My sinful mistress. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I won't. I'll contain myself. I, I'm making a promise with you right now. I solemnly swear I will not place any of this guy, the large rock arch, in the Outback exhibit. I make no promises for this section of the park. I make no promises, but I promise I will show self-restraint and I will not do the arched rock, okay? And you should be proud of me. Comment down below. I'm proud of you, Evo. Congratulations for... Kicking your addiction, albeit <laughs> temporarily, <laughs> albeit already making excuses for yourself. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, there's no situation that a rock can't fix. F fix. Man. Speaking is hard. Oh, I want to add dead trees to uh, the shadowy bit. Because I, I don't I don't ever I don't mess with the day night cycle. I don't do that stuff. I do not venture boldly into the unknown. I like my set time of day. Okay. So, the shadow is always going to be in the same spot, and we can make use of that. I love making rock formations. I love it so much. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. I'm easily amused when it comes to rocks. I'm actually easy, easily amused when it comes to anything. There you go. Some some deadness. Some some spoopiness. We can do some uh, some small spoopiness as well. You know, spoopiness can come in all shapes and sizes. Just re oh, like oh, this one. He this one's living dangerously. This one is like, oh, I, like I'm, I'm dipping my needles into the shadow, but I will survive. You know what? It's not half bad. It's not half bad. Let me, let me continue with the uh, Carnotaurus exhibit. Trying to give you the content. <laughs> also, I'm just, I'm just really trying to not have the Outback take seven parts. <laughs> At some point, this park needs to be finished. Yeah, that's okay. It's a bit of a shame that, you know, when you zoom out, they look dead. Like, they're like three leaves on this entire tree. But up close it looks okay. It needs another small one over there. Because I said so. You know what's really interesting? Like, this is this is the quote-unquote red Carnotaur skin. But in this environment, because the environment is so red-toned, they look really dull. They look really brown. Because, you know, from a distance I was like, Wait, what? Did I choose the wrong skin? Hmm? But no, it's the right skin. It's just, you know, we're used to seeing this skin against, like, against this, you know? The the green, green grass of home. Uh, <laughs> what was that? But, yeah, it looks so different against uh, against this different terrain type. Cover it here. Eat some ribs, boys. Dang it, they're girls. Stop doing that. I thought there was a dinosaur up here, but it was like, it was, <laughs> what, what is this, what is this plant doing? You know, like a little dance, a little boogie. Oh yeah, feel the rhythm. My god, I've been recording for half an hour already. Jesus. Oh, I keep, oh my god, I'm forgetting about all the dinosaurs I was going to make. Hold your horses. I don't have any horses, but what I will have, what we shall have... Uh, let's start with Struthiomimus, and I know exactly which skin I want to get. I'm, I'm being a little lazy. I'm going to go with one skin. The S, Evo. Your, congratulations, you're closing in on your target. You're closing in. There you go. I want to do the rainforest because it's a blue double die. That's going to just have a nice contrast with the... <gasps> I just saw a new dinosaur mod I have that I completely forgot about, and I am excited now. I will show you when these uh, Struthies are uh, ready for delivery. One more, guys, and then I shall show you the dinosaur that has me excited. The dinosaur I want to have in Jurassic World Evolution 2. This is the answer I'm giving every time someone asks me. If you could pick one dinosaur to add to Jurassic World Evolution 2, which one would it be? It would be this one! The Therizinosaurus. I want it so badly. It's such a... Like, it's so different from all the other stuff we have. It is so, so different. I want it so much. We're not gonna add it to the Outback. Therizinosaurus is gonna get, like, a dedicated, awesome exhibit in a future episode of Jurassic World Australia. So, you know, subscribe <laughs> if you want to be around for that excitement if you want to witness the greatness that is the therizinosaurus but yeah i want that to be in jurassic World evolution 2 so so badly because it is so different from all the other dinosaurs like am i personally a bigger fan of something like a uh, concavenator uh yes but i will concede that you know we have you know plenty of medium to small sized carnivores uh I'm assuming at least, I'm assuming we're gonna get a couple more than we've already seen. We don't have anything like- oh, sorry, that's uh, the world. Don't have anything like the Therizinosaurus. I mean, come on, I want it so much. Okay, so we have 10 Struthies, Let, let's leave it at that for now. What else is on my shopping list? A Stegosaurus, and how could I have forgotten? Oh, it's right next to it, that's really nice. It was like it's meant to be. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna do the skins I always do. I always do Wetland, which is my favorite, and uh, I think this one. Yeah, definitely this one. I'm gonna go with like the really reddish one, and we can have a, we can have a pretty decent sized herd. So I think I'm gonna do like seven in total, and the other skin, like this one, like green? Question mark? 
You can't answer. This is not real time. This is not one of the live streams. But, you know, if you want to join the live stream, you know what to do. <laughs> My god, I'm so shameless today. Oh, I do, I do acknowledge that these guys need plenty of feeders. I'm gonna do that right after this, okay? Don't worry. Okay, so another suggestion was the Dryosaurus. Love me a Dryo. Um, hello? Why am I like this? Oh, there you go. And for this one, I'm gonna go with the purple one. Purple rain. Purple rain. Get it? Because it's a Dryosaurus. And rain is wet. Do you get, like, the paradox there? Do you get, like, the... The poetry in the paradox. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, by the way, uh, for the interested people in the uh, the Bunny Chronicles, as he uh, made himself known in the background, he is still sick. He's still not eating properly, and that's probably why I'm loopy. Uh, I still have to uh, get out of bed at 3 a.m. every single night to give him medicine and stuff and feed him. So it's a journey, but overall he seems to be feeling okay, aside from the fact that he doesn't really eat much on his own. But I'm giving him plenty of food, like additionally, so... But yeah, we're, uh, we're considering taking him to a different vet, like get a second medical opinion. Oh, I want this one too. There are so many cool dinosaur mods! Okay, so again, I'm not gonna do the skin I always go for, which is the... Um, Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's that's the rabbit eating some wood. <laughs> like a little chipmunk. <laughs> I always go for this skin. This is a hard fought skin. This is a challenge mode skin. I say hard. It was easy challenge mode, but it's hard for me. I think this was the uh, first live stream we actually ever did on the channel. So I'm not going to do that. Let's actually go back to... Or do I want- no, this is- no, this is not gonna work for Australia. Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go for this one, like the silvery ones. In the next episode, we're gonna add like the small carnivores. So I think after that, it should be fairly, uh, fairly populated, I think. I think it- I think that's going to be enough. But yeah, after the Paris Rolifus, I have one more herbivore on the list. And that is the Gigant Spinosaurus. I can't resist. I'm gonna go for the vivid one. Uh, we're not gonna do too many. Oh, these will be a nice match with the dryos in terms of color. We'll do three. Uh, but leave a comment down below with other carnivores, small carnivores, mind you, that you want to see added to this exhibit. And in that episode, so we're gonna add the carnivores. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to decorate like this entire chunk of the world in that, in that episode so that the outback is limited to a three part within the series so yeah if you want to see that uh subscribe to the channel we are getting ever ever closer to the funny number of 69,000 subscribers so if you want to join the funny number hit the subscribe if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on episodes of jurassic world australia or any jurassic world evolution 2 content then consider ringing the bell so you actually get notified of whenever i, I what's going on over here why are you like this oh my god i have the feather mod on Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What are you, a mountain goat? It's actually kind of nice. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this. I mean, they don't have the color I was going for, so that's a shame. But, you know, we love some feathery dinosaurs, don't we? Anyway, so that's uh, that's this episode done. Leave a like if you did enjoy the episode. Again, give more suggestions for carnivores for the Outback. And I hope you'll join again next time. For now, have a great day and thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game. He's looking at me like I did something weird. No, Bunny, it was you. You did something weird. You did something. I can see it in your eyes. But he's looking at me like, no, you. <laughs> what did you? Oh, no, I hear you. I, I so hear you. See, I look away and I hear you being naughty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.